What is going on guys, it's Xenon Productions, and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing more campaign gameplay, mainly because I haven't been able to play much recently due to school and other stuff. I mean, I've just been out for a while now, and really, I mean, I've just been choosing like some of my favorite campaign missions from the Call of Duties, and I think of, of their own accord is one of the greatest, if not... Uh, the greatest mission of Modern Warfare 2, if not the greatest mission in Call of Duty history. I know there's a lot of more missions that tie up to it, but this is one of the greatest for me. I love it because it takes place in Washington, D.C., and it's like, it's re pretty rare when you actually see Call of Duty being somewhat based off in America, so it's really cool to see that stuff happen, but honestly, it's a really nice mission, and I enjoyed it a lot being able to fight through the White House and the Capitol or whatever, so yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm going to talk today about why Modern Warfare 2 could have been better than it is. And, uh, fuck Friendly Fire, because they were coming at me and I thought they were going to shoot. So, we're going to be talking about, like I said, why Modern Warfare 2 is su was supposed to be a better game than what it turned out to be. And there's so many reasons why to start off with. I don't know where to start, honestly, because Modern Warfare 2, 1, was the first game that you can customize your kill streaks, and 2, uh, was a new era of Call of Duty in itself, I guess you could say. I mean, it was such a big step forward from their previous Call of Duty. And, you know, the thing that Infinity Ward kind of screwed up with, that, uh, that, that, you know, that they're pretty known for now is the fact that they're glitches and Infinity Ward's games have always had some glitches in it and that's the problem because Infinity Ward's never been known to fix their glitches right away and they usually give it a couple months or something for them to get fixed and that's a problem you don't want that to happen to your game and the fact that they don't do it much it kinda sucks um, but moving on from that, you know, the campaign was a very good campaign. It was it was a change, almost. I mean, they had Makarov, kind of, sort of, the debut of Makarov, I guess you could say. I mean, he's been around before, but he's never been really the main focus. Um, But yeah, Makarov was pretty much, this is his debut as the main villain. And he was, you know, that next annoying asshole that kept running away from you uh, for, like, the next two Call of Duty games. <laughs> so, um, yeah, honestly, I don't know what their next plan is for if they're going to make a Modern Warfare series. Uh, I would hope that they do make a Modern Warfare 4 or something along that line because that would be nice. Modern Warfare campaign has always been, like, probably the greatest. I think the Ghosts campaign, though, was a great campaign, too. The Ghost campaign, wow, what an ending to that one. I mean, that was great, but that's a whole different story. We're going to have to wait, like, at least three more years for that one. But, I'm talking here about why Modern Warfare 2 should have been better. And, like I said about the glitches, that's my main reason. Because the glitches in Modern Warfare 2 just were never fixed. And, I know that... If you play the game back in its prime sort of days, 2009, 2010, you'll know that it did have glitches in it. There were care package glitches, there were, you know, rocket launcher glitches, there were, ev it was everything. And, you know, I was new to Call of Duty at that time. So, honestly, I thought it was, you know, just part of the game. So, I just thought it was part of the game, you know? And so, over time, obviously, I realized it wasn't, and I'm like... Man, how could such a great game like this get ruined by glitches? We can't let this happen. That's stupid. So, you know, I mean, you couldn't really stop it at the time, and you really can probably now, but, you know, there's such an old game. It's a classic Call of Duty now, believe it or not. Um, It's really hard to believe this is a classic Call of Duty, but it pretty much is. So, you know, it kind of sucked, but there was so much intention for Modern Warfare 2 uh, moving along. And really, it was fun. It, 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 it's a fun game to play without glitches. If this game never had any glitches for it, like zero glitches, it would probably, almost without a doubt, become the greatest Call of Duty ever. But the thing is, if you check out my previous video, you'll see a couple reasons why I don't play this game on my channel as much as I 
we really intend to. Um, yeah, that, that was a ridiculous video. But, you know, that, that was something that was in the game itself. That was something that they intended to be in the game. The glitches weren't anything they intended. And, uh, it, it, the glitches were just something that they weren't meaning to be in there, yet they were in there. And sadly, they were in there, and sadly, no one sadly. <laughs> sadly, they were just in there, and they were what killed Modern Warfare 2 before it had a chance of getting, you know, getting into a massive prime. If it was, if Modern Warfare 2, like I said, never got many glitches into it, it would probably still be the greatest Call of Duty. I mean, Black Ops 1 has always had glitches in it, uh, but recently they've been getting some pretty big glitches, and I mean, like, Black Ops 1 was a, my opinion, my the best Call of Duty ever made, because Treyarch is different from Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward is not known for fixing their glitches, are they? <laughs> they are not, right? So, what I'm saying here is, the, Treyarch can fix their glitches, and in Modern Warfare 2 or Infinity Ward, they can't really fix their glitches, you know? They really can't, uh, so, <laughs> uh, it, it's insane on how much Treyarch, I think, cares more than Infinity Ward does when they were making these games back in the day. I'm not saying they do or don't anymore. I'm saying that they're both great producers, but just Treyarch was more focused on the glitch fixing than Modern Warfare 2 was. And it's, uh, it was really something else, I guess. It was really something else. So, honestly, that's what I have today. That's what I have. Uh, like I said, this is some campaign gameplay. And I love campaign gameplay. Modern Warfare 2's campaign is probably the greatest campaign uh, of the Call of Duties. I mean, I wasn't a fan of Black Ops 1 campaign. I wasn't a fan of Black Ops 2 campaign. But they were really good. Uh, I was a pretty big fan of Ghost's campaign. Uh, I, was, I really liked Modern Warfare 2 and 3 campaign. And I never played Call of Duty 4, so I don't know. And, I mean, if Modern Warfare... If the if Infinity War wants to bring back the Modern Warfare series, they better have a hell of a redemption. <laughs> they better have their ass so tight that they'll be able to fix these glitches. That they've got. First of all, their goal is to prevent the glitches from happening. Actually, you know, like they're not supposed to have patches ready. They're supposed to prevent the glitch from actually taking place. Like. Where is the effort there? They've got to be able to start patching it right away. That's their priority game at the time. They should be able to fix it. But that's what I have. I've run out of things to say pretty much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, what you think about my opinion on Infinity Ward. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a nice day.